Ready to go now. And here is Xander Bogarts. The second base. Xander Bogarts. The wind of the pitch. In the air, right field. Marte makes the catch for the out. One away. So with one down, it'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. Fernando Tatis Pitch. Not close with that one. And that's ball two. On the ground. Dives and he can't hang on. And he'll be safe at first. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Severino throws the first. And they got him. Tatis picked up. Two out spaces empty. Now here's Jake Cronenberg. That one catches the zone. And the count, one and two. Bats and misses. It's a strikeout. And stepping in for New York, you Brandon go. Nimmo. No left field. Brandon. Brandon. The pitch. Bounced up the middle. Oh, great stop. Whips it to first on the run. Nicely done for the out. Starling Marte up to him. This one popped up. In position. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Francisco Lindor. Francisco Lindor. The pitch. Hit in the air, center field. On his way over. Pulls it in on the run. And we're back. New inning getting started. Here's Manny Machado now. Manny. Gotta love the intensity of postseason baseball. Players on both sides at such a high level of emotion. Everything is amplified. Severino. That was winning. Machado is gone and there's one away. Now at the plate, Hassan Kim. One attempt popped up. Severino calls it in and there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Next for the Padres, Luis Campusano. Two down, nobody on. Here's a high chopper, and that chance handled. In plenty of time, the first Padres go down one, two. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Stepping in the long ball, Brett Pete Alonso. A 1 1. Well, on that idea of postseason reputations, Boo, got to mention players like Carlton Fisk, Reggie Jackson, and Madison Bumgarner. We were doing that game. Those guys really shined in the toughest moments. Hard hit left side. Fires over to first. And that takes care of Alonzo. And now the here's Jeff McNeil. And that one lifted in the air center field. Merrill pulls it down and there's two gone. Tyrone Taylor Batting up now for the Mets. Tyrone Taylor. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He doesn't have a throw, and the defense comes away with nothing. Showed some real nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. King throws over. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first here in game three. Now a chance for Brett Beatty. Hey. Oh, save. That's a stolen base. The 
down two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That Back here in Queens, out of the third inning. Far climbs in on that left side. Severino kicks deals. On the ground, right side. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Now it's the DH, Matthew Batten. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Foul ball, he stays alive. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Got it by him for the play. Next to hit, Jackson Merrill. The 1 1. That one fouled off. Top of the third, no score. Goes down looking. And welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. And a pitch. That one hit to right. Tatis drifts towards it. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. And now Bader up to the plate. One out, base is empty. Bader. Time asked for it to plate prior to the 2 1 pitch. Just off the outside edge. 3 and 1. And the righty deals. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. One down, base is empty. Up the middle, Kim. And Bader is set down. I oh, heard we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Oh. Ripped to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. Decisive third game of the wild card round. Now it's the second baseman, Xander Bogarts. Bogarts swings through that one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. The punch out there. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. The leader will be Fernando Tatis Jr. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Righty to the plate. Swings and misses two away. So two down now, and here is Jake Cronin. Next offering is in for a strike. All tied up here in this decisive game three of the wild card series. Next offering misses. Two balls, two, two strikes. Balls, two strikes. Just missed. A really good take, especially with two strikes. Good job to fight that one off. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Check swing at the full count offering. Appeal to third, and he held back, according to Ricky Holiday. Now Machado up here. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Back here at City Field, go. bottom of the yeah. inning. Here's Starling no, Marte. Starling Marte. A 
That's towards center. Merrill makes the catch. And there's one down. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. One down, base is empty. To the right side. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Throw to first, gets him. Good job to stay with it there for the second out. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. And now it's one and two. Just misses with that one. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. That misses. And now three and two. And a pitch. There's a swing and a drive. And caught on the warning track. Not quite enough behind that one. We go to the top of the fifth. Now it's the shortstop, Ha Sung Kim. Two and one now, Severino. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Two ball, two strike. Three. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. Next is the catcher for the Padres, Luis Campusano. One down, base is empty. And another ball. Swing and a miss. Two and two. And he really sells the change up with that home action. That one missed. On the ground to third. Finds its way through base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent hey. control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. And now two gone. So here's the Padres DH, Matthew Batten. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two break. And that just misses. Kind of break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. At the belt and fires. Ground ball right side. McNeil gets it to first. Third out. And, that and we're back. We head to the bottom of the field. Jeff McNeil stands in. The second base. Pitches outside. Well, these Mets, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early hey. anymore. They've got players in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. And the pitch. Ground ball up the middle. On the run, sends it over to first. Not in time, and legs it out. Now, Tyrone Taylor. On the ground to third. To second, pulls him off the bag. First and second, no outs. And next for the Mets, Brett Beatty. In the air on the infield. And the infield fly is caught. Two on, one out. Here's the catcher, Francisco Alvarez. And the right hater deals. And a count one and two. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boy. And that's caught the inside edge. And it's to a two. Wouldn't Help chase me. that time. Double steal. Outside and that is going for it. That sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. 
So bases loaded with one away. Here's the center fielder, Harrison Bader. Laser could be extra bases. One runs in. Now the second run is in. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He's safe. And they clear the bases. Three nothing. Swing of the bat right there. Just a solid swing right there. Got it out fine and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Here's Brandon Nimmo. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. The run comes in to score from second, and it's 4 nothing. And he's got a double. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. I'll tell you. Now, Pedro Avila gets handed the rock out of the pen. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. Now it's going to be Starling Marte. That one's in there. And a count one and two. One out and a runner at second here in the rubber match of this three-game series. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two out. And now it's Frankie Lindor. The pitch. Back to right. Tatis brings it in for the third out. Top six. Stepping in for San Diego. Jackson Merrill. Jackson Merrill. Here's a one one and a foul ball. Here's a one two. Got him looking. One out. Here's Xander Bogarts. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Bogarts retired. Number two. Two outs, bases empty. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Toss to Alonzo, and they take care of Tatis for the out. And that is the inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the six, and stepping in for New York, Pete Alonzo. Right-hander kicks, deals. Boots it. And he's going to make it to first. And we'll see how they score. And at first. And now here is Jeff McNeil. The 3-1. Bounce to the right. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And he beats it. He's safe. At the play, Tyrone Taylor. Kick Sandios. And another ball. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That one outs against the fence. One run is in. Taylor into second, and he's got a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Absolutely hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity, and at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. That one is absolutely belted. Could be extra bases. One runs in. Another comes in to score. And they're pulling away up by seven now. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. The soon out of the bullpen for the Padres, Adrian Morahan. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it.
Five ball. Baden stands at second with no outs. Wouldn't chase that time. Clobber to the field, roll back, gone! He made him pay for that one, and they had a pair. It's 9-0. When you see a guy take a slider on the outside part of the plate and hit an opposite field home run, fires you up because not only is he flexing the muscles to show the pop, that kind of approach, you'll hit for a high average as well. So up next for New York, Harrison Bader. That two misses the zone. Right. Ball two. Love it here at City Field. You know, it replaced Old Shea Stadium back in 2009, and Chipper Jones was really drilled up towards left center field. That's well struck. That spits over the fence, so it's an automatic double. So the batting order turns over. Brandon Nimmo, the next to hit. And that's in for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. center field coming home he'll score easily and it's a double digit lead as they're up by 10 well, everything came together for him we often hear the phrase short to it long through it and that's a great example of it right there got the barrel in the hitting zone early squared it up with the well-timed swing underhanded to second how about that double play Got what he was looking for on the mound right no, no, there, and his infielders no, no. took care of business. No, no, no. Pretty textbook execution between no, no. short and second to turn that into two outs. Pitch two misses balls. there. Two balls and a strike. Lifted to left center. Way back there, and that is gone. Francisco Lindor takes him deep. It's their second home run of the inning, and they add to the lead. It's 11-0. They thought he could blow a high fastball by him, but he was ready for it. Look at how quickly he jumped on that pitch. New pitcher on now, Tom Cosgrove. He's into the game with the bases empty. Here's Pete Alonso. Here comes the pitch. They go back to back, and they boost their lead. It's 12-0. Back-to-back homers always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it, and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. So digging in, Jeff McNeil. Up the middle, and that one handled. Tosses the first. What a play, inning over. Back here in Queens, and now the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with a mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Those swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. And now it's Manny Machado. You can tell by their swings, this lineup is having trouble gauging speeds. Timing is everything in hitting, and right now, they just don't have it. And it's even up. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The Padres with a lot of ground to make up here in the late stages of game three. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Bader takes the play, two way down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone, 
You're looking for one of those blue hits to get a knock sometimes. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Next offering is in for a strike. Out of line, out towards center. Horizon. And that's the third out. Back here at City Field, set for the last half of the seventh. And now the Mets DH, Tyrone Taylor. In the air, out to center. And puts the squeeze on that one. One up, one down. Now, now, now. now the, the third, third baseman, base. Brett Beatty. Right. One down, base is empty. Fall off foul. And here it comes. On the ground. And that one finds its way through. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Stepping in, Francisco Alvarez. That one off the mark, and it's 2-1. and one. Man at first, one away. Swing and a line drive, slicing into right field. Tatis snags it for the second out. Man at first, now, now, now. and next for the Mets, Let's Harrison Bader. Harrison Bader. Pitch. That's outside, and it's two and one. Two outs. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's down. One hops off the wall. Around third. He will score. And they extend their lead. Picks himself up at RBI. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Inside move to second. Bader dives back. And now, Brandon Nimmo. Runner breaks for third. Out of third. And that ends the inning. And we're back. Here's the switch hitting left fielder Jerks in pro form. New arm out of the bullpen, Jake Diekman. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Clips the outside corner, and the count is two and two. Next is the designated hitter, Matthew Batten. One down, base is empty. Tapped on the ground softly to short. Lindor tosses the first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. And now the center fielder, Jackson Merrill. And that is cut on and missed. And yeah, the count one, one and two. two Swing and a miss struck him out. Back now, now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the Number bottom of the eighth, pitch. Jeremiah Estrada. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Hard ground ball, base now. And aboard on the leadoff single. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. It was quite cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was really cut out in front and. Didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. And now it's going to be that one ripped. That's a hit. Lead runner around second. And now runners at the corners. Nobody out. Couple now of singles back to back. Yeah. Nice job of driving that right, pitch the go. other way on a line. You know, Let hitters, go. they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there. Center field. 
makes the catch. Runner tagging from third. That's a sacrifice fly as he comes across, and the lead continues to grow. Pete Alonso up now for the Mets. Oh, one throw. Grounder might be two. Kim. Off balance feed. There's one. What a double play that was. Inning over. Back here in Queens. We go to the ninth. Well, here's Sander Bogarts now. The Mets with a new arm on the mound. Jorge Lopez. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him. So he should be fairly free and easy out there. So you have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. And another ball. And he deals. Ripped on a line to center. Bader takes the ground. And there's one away. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Tatis waits. Line drive. Put a really good swing on that pitch and hit the ball hard. You know, the line drives will always find a hole. But the more you can hit the ball like that with good exit below, the better off you're going to be in the long run. One ball, two strikes. This could end it. And ball the one two misses to even the count. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Go to first. Into the ball game. And the strikeout ends it. So the New York Mets get it done here in game three with the backing of their home fans. And they could celebrate for the night as they shift their sights to the division series. Yeah, congrats to them. These three game series don't leave a lot of room for error, Boog. And it really could have gone either way coming into this game. I think they fed off of this crowd. And those are the types of things you love to see this time of year.